Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm Anush Patel from AndroidRoots.com and today I'm going to go ahead and do a quick demonstration of how to actually recover files on your Android smartphone or tablet. Um, so using this Wondershare Doctor Phone, that's the application that we're going to be using in this video, you can actually go ahead and recover music files, photos, documents, text messages, and contacts. The last two I mentioned will actually require you to be rooted, but the rest, there's no re root required, so anyone can really do it uh, for uh, music files, documents, and photos too. So let's go ahead and demonstrate this right here, and then we're gonna go ahead and head down to our Windows computer and finish up this whole process on recovering that deleted file. Uh, so, so for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture and, and accidentally delete the photo. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take a picture of this blue Android guy right here. So we'll go and take a picture of him. Boom, right there. Uh, you heard the sound too. And now we can go ahead and take a look at a gallery. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you we only have these two photos right here. And here's a blue one. So let's go and accidentally delete this photo right here. So it's deleted. It is gone. As you can see, here's the camera. And here are the two other photos that were here originally. And now let's go ahead and go into our file manager and see if it actually did show up at all. And let's make sure it actually did get deleted and make sure that program actually does uh, work as it does say it will. Uh, so right here, DCIM right here. And they'll go into camera and boom, you only have two photos right there. There's no picture of the blue Android. I'll even uh, show a nice close up right there if it focuses. As you can see, only those two will show up. I'll even uh, just <laughs> tap on it. Um, that'd be a little bit easier, but that's all right. You guys get the point. Um, so there we go. I accidentally deleted that photo and this scenario can happen with a song, another photo, or even multiple photos, um, documents, or if you guys are rooted, um, contacts and text messages, you can go and recover that uh, on your Android smartphone or tablet. Um, so there we go. I'm freaking out. You know, I don't know what to do, but not to worry guys. Let's go ahead and head down to our Windows computer and finish this up pretty darn quickly and easily. Okay, so here's Wondershare's doctor phone for Android software right here for your Android device to go ahead and recover all these type of files on your Android smartphone or tablet. Um, so first thing we need doing is go ahead and plug it in via mic USB right here. So here's my Nexus 4. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and then we're good to go. As you can see, it automatically did recognize it. Um, once, uh, for the first time, once you do connect it, you will have to go through some setups and USB debugging and all that. I actually went already ahead and tested it to make sure it was working earlier. So I'm gonna go and skip those steps, but it's pretty straightforward on what you have to do. And there are like pictures and directions on how to properly turn on USB debugging and all that too. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and click on start. It's gonna go and analyze our device. So just please wait and make sure your phone screen is on because it's gonna ask you to uh, grant a USB debugging device uh, request. So we'll just give it a few seconds until it does reach 100% and you'll see that uh, coming out pretty darn soon. Okay, so as you can see right now, um, since I am rooted, it actually did ask me, ask me for a super user request. I'm gonna go and grant this, but if you guys are not rooted, it'll still uh, work without a problem, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, but though it just asked me for root permission, so it can actually go and work for contacts and messaging. Um, those two will only work if your phone is rooted. If, it, if you're not rooted, you can only use gallery, videos, audio, and documents, which is just fine. You know, you're still gonna get a lot of options, but just rooting will have those two other options too. Um, one thing I forgot to mention earlier is make sure if you guys are rooted, make sure you guys are on stock ROM. If you're not, you will run into big problems. <laughs> I actually tried it using the custom ROM. It didn't work. I kept getting error. I tried restarting my computer, restarting my phone. It wouldn't work. Uh, once I flashed a stock ROM, it worked just fine. So make sure you guys are on stock ROM for this to even work or it'll pro you'll probably end up, uh, you know, uh, just waiting, you know, troubleshooting for a couple hours and not even working. Um, but here we are, as you can see right now, you can see an Android guy scanning stuff. And at the top, you can see a uh, phone scanning with a magnifying glass. And right here, there's a time remaining about one hour and 17 minutes for me, uh, depending on how big your, how big the, um, how big your phone is, you know, uh, file storage wise, mine's 16 gigs. So mine takes an hour and 17 minutes about, uh, it, took two, it took two hours earlier when I did it earlier today. Uh, but depending on how big and large your storage is, it'll take longer or a shorter amount of time. Uh, but once it, it is done, uh, scanning out, it'll actually show you all the files that it has recovered. And um, I'll actually be back <laughs> in a whole hour and 17 minutes to show you that it actually did reco uh, recover that one specific photo of the blue Android guy. So I'll be right back. 
All right, so after two hours, it is actually completely done. Um, the whole scanning was done, and the estimation did go from one hour and 17 minutes all the way to two hours, but it's actually done now. Um, and as you can see, that file did get recovered. The picture I did take, the blue Android guy right there, as you can see. Um, so I can just easily go ahead and right click on it and then do recover checked. Um, it's actually gonna go and do all of them. So we'll actually go ahead and uncheck it right here at the top corner. Um, so now they're all unchecked. Now you can just uh, click on this and select for whatever really you want. So you can do re uh, recover checked. So I'm going to go and check mark this, recover checked, and then you can go ahead and put it wherever on your computer where it's a safe place where you won't lose it or accidentally delete it um, anywhere. Um, so just to prove it to you guys, oh, <laughs> sorry about the microphone, guys. Um, but just to prove it to you guys that it, I'm not lying, <laughs> it's nothing uh, crazy or magic, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you once again. I'm going to go and kill it even. File manager, I'm going to go and kill it just to show you guys. And I'll even kill camera um, and now let's go ahead and go into file manager if the camera actually does focus file manager right there and then we'll all go all the way down to DCIM uh, where did it right here right here DCIM and then camera and boom as you can see there's only those two original photos and once again we'll go into the camera application and show you that it's not here um, as you can see, so it actually did really recover it. It's not a joke or anything. It actually did it right. Um, and there are some other couple photos I don't even have on my phone that it actually did recover too. Um, so I actually deleted some of these a while ago and they got recovered too. So that's pretty awesome as well. Um, as you can see, it does work not only for just pictures, videos that work, audio, documents. And of course, if you guys are rooted, you'll have options for contacts and messaging up there as well. Um, be sure you just on a custom ROM. Um, rooting isn't required. Not by a fire shot all you have to do is just have a, have an android smartphone or tablet and you'll be good to go uh, but that is demonstration of how wondershare doctor phone for android does work on recovering your data for your android smartphone or tablet if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left hand corner right there and don't forget to follow me on twitter and my other social networks which are also located down below in the video description and link to this actual wondershare doctor phone program is located down below in the video description as well I'll catch you guys later. Peace.